Okay, so most people have never actually met a true believer. Now, sure, we've read stories about believers, we know that true believers exist, but we hardly ever see them. Well, Be Holy is a podcast that shines a light on the behaviors, the mindset, and the duties of a believer, so that we can recognize God's children even when they don't look like God's children. Yeah, it's a bit of a process. Each lesson is given by our own Pastor Nard. Your sins have been forgiven. All you have to do is believe it, and God will help you through your journey. You've traveled long enough without Him. Today on Be Holy, we are talking about the Scriptures. (laughs) What's the big deal about the Scriptures? Yeah, isn't the Scriptures just like any other book? Can't I get direction from any other book? Sure you can. But if you want to know about spiritual things, then you have to go to the spiritual book. And then ultimately, you'll find out once you start to read the spiritual book that really nobody can actually understand the uh, spiritual book unless you go to a spiritual God. And that spiritual God is the one who reveals everything about the spiritual book. Yeah. You know how we always have, we've heard that adage, uh, if you want to hide something, hide it in a book. Well, God did that very thing. The the Bible is, is full of, of so many things that we can actually learn from And if you're not careful You'll you'll miss it Just like I did for years You just miss it and You're not thinking about it You don't mean to miss it Most of it But you just You know What's the big deal about the Bible You know You just never Really Think about it Until God begins to open your eyes And so when he begins to open your eyes No matter what anybody says They can't shut it again They can't shut those eyes Once that door is open, you can't shut it. Oh, no. So we're going to talk about the scriptures today. We're going to go over to 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timothy chapter 3, and we'll start at verse number 16. Uh, And it says this. It says this. All scripture is inspired by God. Hmm, That answers the first question. So you can't just go to every book and get something. But, you know, God can show you something in every book. But at least you know that the Bible, right? Even though some people have have tried to change it, some people have taken things out of it, some people have rearranged it and done these other things, translated it, whatever. All the scripture were, you know, those things were inspired by God. That means no matter what people try to change, if they try to change it, it don't matter because God's spirit will always fill in the the dots and, and the, it'll always fill in the bridges. It will always, whatever is trying, people are trying to take out of it and try to keep you from understanding. The Spirit of God will show you what those things are. That's why some people can actually start obeying God before they even read the Bible. And then they come to find out after they start reading the Bible, hey, I'm doing this already. Well, and all, and what I'm trying to tell you is, even though the uh, although the scriptures are inspired by God truly inspired by God God doesn't he he doesn't have to have the scriptures to teach you anything he's God remember he's everywhere and because he's everywhere he can get right into your mind in the the very crevices of your mind where you're trying to keep from learning certain things he'll show it to you and open your eyes to it You know, when it comes to God, you can't stay asleep forever. You can't. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true. Hmm. Thank you, Lord, for for agreeing with me. It's it's there to teach us what is true. To teach us what is true. Hmm. And it makes us realize what is wrong in our lives. Now, he's not using it to. To tear you down or to make you feel bad and and scare you into heaven and scare you into salvation. Mm -mm. No. He's using it to teach us. And also to realize what's wrong in our very lives. So not necessarily what's wrong always at church and what they're not telling us. Or what what scriptures they've taken out of the Bible or what verses they've removed from the Bible. Mm -mm. It's helping us to realize that certain things about us are wrong in everyday life. You know, sometimes uh, we're trying to, we kind of feel like certain things are just wrong at church, but a lot of times it's stuff that's wrong within us. 
you know a lot of times you you, you wouldn't really think is wrong in you until you could see it in someone else so the bible actually uh will have these stories you can read the stories and go man why didn't they do this why didn't they do that why didn't they think about this and then you think about oh that's something i do yeah why didn't i think of that and why didn't i do this you know like when they crucified jesus right you would think that the people would sit there and go man he was doing all those miracles he was helping people and this that and other and they still killed him Mm. we think about him we go man if i knew somebody that was doing that around me i wouldn't try to kill him and i'd be trying to stay around him forever they make food out of out of out of nothing they'll 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 get two fish and, and 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 some bread and make sandwiches for everybody make food for a whole crowd of people five thousand people yeah you'd stay around people like that but that's all in hindsight see that's what god uses to show us that you know there are people in your life that are like that you might not like what they say you might not like how they say it but they have your best interest at heart and we try to kill them every day not necessarily murder but we try to hurt them with our words we uh we ignore them we try to make them think that they're crazy but you never know what kind of gifts god is putting around you and the bible helps us to realize certain things like that you know maybe you should love people even though they might have done you wrong forever you know maybe you should treat people right even though they treat you wrong these are the things that the scriptures will tell us it it shows us that you know sure love god and that's important know that he's the only one the lord our god is one lord amen right but also he says just as important as that is for you to love your neighbor so you mean to tell me that i've been putting loving god above loving people when he says with his own words no you're supposed to love me and that's good but just as important you're supposed to love people your neighbor so in other words don't lie to me as god and don't lie to your neighbor as your neighbor either be truthful with them do as much as you can to help them and do it as if you're doing it to the lord so treat your neighbors like the lord listen here okay (sighs) this is what the scriptures do all the scriptures inspired by god and it's useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives here's the other part it corrects us when we're wrong and teaches us to do what is right so sometimes we we grab the scriptures to beat somebody else up as opposed to using the scriptures to shape our lives and to sand down the rough parts of our life Mm. it's really easy to to shape somebody else down with the bible it's easy to tear somebody else down with the bible as opposed to applying it to your own life i know it you know it's, it's really easy it's really easy to do that you're sitting up there and you're you're uh, you grab your bible you got a couple verses and you shaving on people but really god showed you the bible so that you could work on you not so that you can judge anybody else so that you can work on you right that's what he does we talk about uh at our church uh your first church is your family Yes, we'll come together as a group of people and we'll worship God together for what he's done for us. And we'll talk about and testify and everything. But your first church is your family. So if you're trying to get your family into the kingdom, which is what we're all trying to do, trying to get ourselves into the kingdom, try to get our families into the kingdom of God. If you're using the Bible to to cut on your family, it's going to be hard for them to come in. Because you already, you know, as a, you know, as a person of, 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 of God or a child of God, you, you, the prophet don't get no, no honor in his family or in his city where he's from. So.
So your family is going to be a little more hard on you, but you have to be spiritually led on how to utilize the scriptures so that you know how to bring them into the kingdom, not keep them out of the kingdom. You're not doing this and you're not doing that and you're not doing this. And the Bible says this, and the Bible says that. Well, OK, it does. But you have to ask God on how to use the Bible so so that you can learn things about yourself and not necessarily other people. Because trust me, I've learned it. It's like when you start examining yourself, you have more mercy on people. When you start looking at yourself and you you got the scriptures, you have it all down, you you have it down and then you start looking on the inside of yourself, you have more mercy on people. Because you know nine, 90% of the time you ain't right or I'm not right. Even though we're full of the Holy Ghost, we love God and we re- believe in on Jesus Christ, but we're just we're hoping that we we don't do anything to ruin it to keep ourselves out and so when you start talking about the scripture the scriptures will actually help shape you it'll keep you humble not break you down so we are as as believers we use the bible to be humble to find out what god has said to find out what's wrong with us so that we can fix it and if we can't fix it, we turn it over to God to fix it. But we at least we realize that there's something wrong with us. Like I tell people all the time, just because you have a, a note from the doctor or the doctor saying this, that and the other is wrong with you and you're going to do this and this is going to happen to you. That don't mean that it's going to happen to you. Now you know how to pray. They told you the specifics. So now you take those specifics and you pray and ask God to help you just like he helped those people in the Bible. So you turn it on him. So so God's word is alive. The scriptures are alive. He he's he kept the scriptures long enough for you to read them. He preserved them so that we could read them. Here is verse number seventeen. It says this: God uses it the the scriptures. God uses it to prepare and equip His people to do every good work. So if you want to do good work, ask God to use the Bible on you. Have, have God to smooth the smooth you out because everybody's got rough edges. So ask God to smooth you out so that you can be who you say you want to be, who God says you are, whoever you're trying to be. Ask God to show you those scriptures will help you because they're inspired by God. Yeah. And I hope you are continue to read the scriptures. And if I never see you again, I hope to see you up in heaven. Well, how did you feel about today's lesson? Speak with us at beholy116 at gmail.com. Share Be Holy with a friend, a colleague, or someone who needs it. Connect with us today at beholy116 at gmail.com. Your support of Be Holy is greatly appreciated. Simply text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And if you're ever in Columbus, Ohio, give us a visit. Come visit us. Brought to you by the First Church of Christ Apostolic Way. A small church with a big heart.